Do you ever feel like whenever you go into a match and you lose the lead, the match is basically over? When going into a tournament, you can't guarantee that you're always going to win the lead. So how do you overcome this? It all starts by having a Pokemon that we like to call the safe switch. I like to doing like extra little recordings even though you probably don't catch them. Remember when I told you to shut up while you're recording with a lot of the nonsense because it's harder to repeat it? Just shut up. Now, what is a safe switch? Uh, a safe switch is when you switch into a Pokemon that can do decently well against whatever your opponent throws at you. The reason why this is used is because even when you have a terrible lead, you're still not far behind in the matchup. Sometimes when doing this correctly, it could actually put you a lot further in the match. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly who is the best safe switch in the Sinister Cup. Are you ready? The best safe switch in the entire Sinister Cup is going to be Shuppet. Why? 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 I'm just kidding, it most definitely has to be Dusclops. Dusclops is in complete and utter monster in the Sinister Cup. Driftblim and Alolan Marowak are great ghost types. Don't get me wrong, they're amazing. But Dusclops with his huge bulk and such amazing coverage makes him the most consistent ghost in all the Sinister Cup. There is literally nothing in the entire Sinister Cup that can wall Dusclops. Except for Bastiodon. Except for Bastiodon. The thing about Dusclops is he has something that the other ghost types don't have. The other ghost types actually rely on shield baiting and pulling off their big charge moves. You all know what charge move we're talking about. We're talking about Shadow Ball. Dusclops doesn't have that problem. He is so consistent because he can fire off whatever charge move needs to be super, okay. Because he can fire off a super effective charge move at no matter what he's going up against. Whether they shield or not, he's still doing damage. Dusclops doesn't need that because he's so consistent with Shadow Punch and Fire Punch being such low energy, it doesn't need a big charge move to pull off. He can just do more frequent, smaller charge moves that require less energy. Now, why is Dusclops the best safe switch in the entire Sinister Cup? The reason why is because he does amazing against anything that comes up against him. He can literally beat almost everything in the entire Sinister Cup in the two shield scenario. This is absolutely huge. Why? Because if you're in a bad situation and you need a safe switch to your Dusclops, Dusclops in the two shield scenario can win that matchup and even with a bad lead, you still win switch advantage. Switch advantage will now be in your favor, which puts you light years ahead of the match. Now, what fast move should Dusclops be running? Personally, I think it's all up in the air. It's personal preference. But me personally, between Faint Attack and Hex, I like Hex better. I find it has more coverage. So always, I'm gonna pick a move that has more coverage. And I think the energy gain is very similar. I think Faint Attack might be a little bit better, but it's coverage, so I like Hex better. Hex does well against Ghost, Psychic, and Fighting. So in the end of the day, it's personal preference you pick, but I kind of like Hex just because it also covers you against the Ghost, the Psychics, and the Fighting types. Faint attack is not really effective against the fighting types, and I like more coverage, so I'm gonna go with Hex on this one. Next, we're gonna have the charge moves of choice. It's going to be Shadow Punch and Fire Punch. Now, you're gonna want Shadow Punch to go up against the fighting types, the ghost types, and the psychic types. Then you're gonna wanna have Fire Punch against the steel types. This is why Dusclops has so much coverage, because he can literally attack almost everything with super effective damage in the entire Sinister Cup meta. Like I said before, Dusclops is a huge safe switch just because, again, he can do well against everything, but you're gonna have to really be careful against Bastiodon. Now, you're not gonna see a whole lot of Bastiodon in the Sinister Cup, but if you do see it on your opponent's team, keep that in mind whenever doing a safe switch with 
Dusclops. Other counters like Haunter will also be able to do a lot of work to Dusclops, but when you're switching in Dusclops, it might take them about a second or two for them to switch in their Haunter, so you might actually get one or two fast moves ahead, which will really sway the match. Alrighty, so, uh, we have our test dummy here, Mr. Scrub Lord Dustin. I love how you call you. Great, it's dummy. good to be here. Thank you. I feel welcomed. Thanks. <laughs> Alright, so we're having a little bit of an experiment here. Actually, I've kind of done some research and I was like, you know what, I think this is gonna work. But we're gonna do some battles here with him and see if it actually works. Do you know what we're doing here? Yeah, I mean, you're not doing like a deep dive, but you're doing some kind of strategy that you're showing some me. Some kind of strategy, like yeah. Pokemon. What is it? What is it? Malwa. No? Malwa. Slowbro? Slowbro. Yeah. Yeah. I would like to see a Slowbro deep dive. There's probably a bunch out there. Yeah, Dark Matter Wolf would uh, definitely agree with you. Slowbro would be good. It's like water and psychic, right? Yeah, it's actually pretty good. Alright, so. Alright, you ready for this? Show me some Slowbro. Alright, I'll show you some Slowbro. Alright, thank All right. you. Alright, let's see how this works. That's just a, a little plan I have, and I think it works every single time so far. So. Did you just Mr. Burns shake? Did you do this? Well, well I know I was fighting Mr. Burns. <laughs> Smithers? Smithers? <laughs> But, uh, Stop looking! Look at your mom with those eyes. I'm already locked in. After spending all day at Sinister in the Six, I was mm -hmm. like not ready to do a Sinister battle for no a long more. time. But I think I'm rested. I'm ready to tackle Sinister again. You ready? Yeah, because okay. we have a second tournament coming up. Yeah, we do. And you're gonna rank this one. This is the one. I'm and I got the lead. Oh my god. I mean, I'm assuming I got the lead. I don't know how much Bubble does to clay doll. Goodbye. Goodbye. I see you. I see you. I see you. Here comes my electric type, Steelix. <laughs> <laughs> Thunderfang Steelix, wow. Nah, it's actually not Thunderfang. No? No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Just because he's yellow? Wait, let me see. Yeah, no, 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 it's doing the dragon tail effect. Yeah, because it's yellow. Are you done? <laughs> Stop lighting me on fire here. <laughs> Woo! My Steelix is out here, ready to beat a Pokemon, because I got the lead, and now he's just getting lit on fire. <laughs> That's the thing about, about uh, <laughs> Dusclops, man. Like, he's something. Dusclops is tanky. Dusclops just nearly goes for the fire move, which helps a lot, you know? Yeah. Well, Alolan Marowak has it too, but just not right. as quick. I keep forgetting that Alolan Marowak. Well, they gave him a flame wheel. Yeah, no. Although, didn't in New York someone use Fire Blast? Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Insane. Do you know who it was, or? Uh, Probably one of the ace trainers. Uh, Mr. It was House. Nightwing. Oh, was it? It was Nightwing, yeah. Oh, Nightwing used the fire blast, it was awesome. And he actually pulled crazy. it off. One shot to Steelix. I guess Flame Wheel is not really viable, is it? Hmm? Flame Wheel? No. <sighs> well played. I'm not gonna shield this one. No? No. Alright. I feel like I'm gonna need my shield. What do I have left? Let's do it. Oh shoot, it's fire spin. <laughs> okay, that's alright, whatever. Do whatever you want. I gotta mega up all my mirror wax. Ow! Is how I would react if I got hit by a shadow punch. <laughs> Stop! I mean, it's fine, I can see like this. Okay, you gotta go. You gotta stop, Dust Clops. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll let it go. <laughs> we let it go. You guys have a bone club? What do you mean, let it go? <laughs> you don't have any shields. Wait. <laughs> Wait. You just go bone club? You almost died, dude. <laughs> I really thought bone club was enough to kill it. Dust Clops is really good. Energy! Energy. Bone club me. There's no way. There's no way this is Shadow Ball. This is Shadow Ball. No, it's not. Come on, please. There is no way. Shadow Ball! <laughs> <laughs> Called it. Bye. Take that Shadow Ball damage. All right, what you got? Oh, what, what, you you got left? what you got left? What, what you got left? What you got left? What you got left? What you got left? Oh. Here comes the psychic. Okay. Goodbye. Oh, shit. What you got left? Swap. Now? I was waiting for the swap. Uh, what you got? Uh, did I see it already? I probably saw it. I don't know mm -hmm. who it was. Uh, no, you never see it. Uh, Ma Wild. Bye. -bye. <laughs> it's not over. I have a shield, boy. It's okay. Yeah. You can have your shield. What? Well, I have earthquake on this. Uh, no you don't. Hey, that do. No you don't. Yes, I do. No you don't. You don't know me. You don't know my life. You, you don't, don't know, know my what life. I'm doing with my Pokemon. You don't know my life. Me and this clay doll have a bond. Do you? Yeah. Watch, your defense is gonna drop too. Earthquake. Do it. Earthquake. Do it. Earthquake, defense drop. It drops defense. <laughs> Earth power, you mean? No, Earth, no. That's Earthquake, see? Defense dropped! Oh, it did! <laughs> oh my god, go down! <laughs> Damn. Damn. See, that, that didn't work out for me, 
like, ow! Is how Clay Dog acted there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's 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 GG. So do you know what I was trying to show them? I'm guessing something with dust clops. Yeah, definitely something with dust clops. Okay, so if we do a little bit of a a re uh, a recap, a recap of exactly what just happened yeah, there. Right? Let's play the replay battle right here or here. I don't know. I'm editing, but who, who knows where it's going? Wherever it's going, it's right there or right here. It's somewhere down here. Who cares? <laughs> but uh, yeah, I can actually pull it up. Since I, I had it screen recorded. All right. Um, Welcome to Jay Farmakis replay battle. Yeah. Right. So we started again. Okay. So as we started off, I bring in the Polyrath. You had the lead on me. You had Clay Dog. Yeah, I had the lead. Right. I swap out. I bring in Dusclops, and then you swap in. You bring in your Steelix. Mm -hmm. Great move, of course. But again, Fire Punch. Fire. This is why Dusclops is amazing at being the safe switch. Right. Well, I had nothing else to switch out of. I couldn't keep Clay Doll in. Right. And I couldn't throw out a little Marowak because it's Fire Spin, right? Exactly. So I only had Steelix to throw in. That's the thing, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to bring in Steelix, and I have Fire Punch ready for you, right? Right. N not to mention that time where you swap in, I still got like one or two hexes off, yeah. which allowed me to get in energy prior. Dusclops is amazing, but in that as a switch where he gets one or two extra fast moves, makes him such a way better, like in a better position. Yeah. Right? Because he can get those charge moves a lot faster, wins specific matchups. So again, Fire Punch, we already, I think we baited one shield, or do we get one shield already by now? Uh, I don't think I used my shield. Yet. Not yet? Now you use it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, now you use it. And now you're gonna, because the reason why you use it is because you knew you're gonna be able to get to a crunch. Yeah. Right? I'm like, I was close to a Fire Punch, but I'm not gonna be able to get to it. Mm -hmm. Right? So you double shielded. I double shield, I wanna win the lead. I technically could have actually not shielded there. Yeah. But it's fine. I go Fire Punch and I take you out. But the reason why I did that was because if you got me with Crunch last, like again, if you shielded again, I would have won. No, no, I still would have been alive. Right. Right, and I would have been able but to But if I up. shielded previously, if I used two shields too, I would have won. Yeah, Steelix. yeah. So there you go, I won the lead, and now I don't care what happens. Yeah. Because now I took out your first Pokemon and I have switch advantage. Mm -hmm. Right, so I, it doesn't matter to me. I'm like, you know what, Shadow Punch. I'm gonna do as much damage as I can. Yeah. Because you brought a little and Marowak. So you're saying Dust Clops is a safe switch. Exactly. And you want to double shield it because you you lost the lead, but you yep. switched out to Dust Clops and you got the lead back. Exactly. You protected it. So the match was right in your favor. The second I went Polyrath Clay Doll, it was automatically in your favor. Mm -hmm. Now I look what just happened here. He took out your Steelix and your little Marowak's almost done. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, this is fun. Right. I like pointing out these mistakes. <laughs> right. So look, you have Bone Club, and I'm still in it. I'm still doing damage. You're almost KO'd. One more fast move would have been over. Mm -hmm. But look at this. I bring in Polyrath, and this is where my mistake was. I'll show you exactly. Okay, so I bring in Polyrath. You go Bone Club. It's whatever, right? I knew it was Bone Club. It like, doesn't really make a difference. Yeah. So Bone Club's gonna do a little bit of damage, but I want to farm the Marowak with that one bubble. Thing is, when Claydol went back in, I should have swapped the Steelix right away because you had a Psychic ready. Yeah. Right? That was my problem. If yeah. I swapped... If you swapped, Psychic would have went off with Steelix and done nothing. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, you still won. Yeah, no, I still won. But as you, do you see what I mean? Now, it would have been a way better matchup for me if I had that because I would still have Polyrath in the back with full charge moves. Yeah. Right? Now, but Steelix comes in, you still are left with the shield, I go with the crunch, then you're going to be going in with uh, Earth, Earth Power. power. Right? And I'm still gonna be able to get to another crunch again. Yeah. Right? That's the, the setup. You you bring in the polyrath, you get if you win a Lola Marowak lead, that would have been even better. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because I still ha I don't even have to switch in that scenario. Yeah, of course. Right? So there it is, your earth power, and then one, two Defense went down. Yeah, defense went down. Awesome if I won. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then another crunch. And that's pretty much GG. Do you understand what I mean though? The whole switch advantage? Yeah. Right? Because switch, winning switch advantage is huge, right? You, you literally sway the match into your favor. Your next Pokemon comes in, now I have a, a way to counter you. Mm. So even if you lose the lead, you can kind of get yourself back in the game with Dust Clops. Yeah, if exactly. you shield right and, you know. Um, well, if, what if it wasn't Steelix though? What if it was a different Pokemon? You well, still think Dusclops? What would you think? We, the, if the only thing that like completely ruins uh, Dusclops is Bastiodon. Bastiodon? Yeah. How about Mawile? Huh? I guess Mawile is fire, right? Yeah, because you have Fire Punch, right? Yeah, it's still doing a lot. Exactly. Dang. So, it, again, they, they still do... Mawile will still win, right? But I think it's all depending on shields yeah. and everything like that. But, again, Mawile, Dusclops, you got sorry, uh, Bastiodon, you really got to be careful for these specific matchups. Right. Okay, well, how about leading with Dusclops? Because that's what I did a lot of my Sinister Cup. You did, you did uh, Dusclops lead? Yeah. That's also a good option, too, yeah. right? It's just because you know that no matter what's coming in, 
you're gonna have a decent lead. They're gonna have a decent lead. Yeah. Right. So you can run it that way. I personally like running it as a, as a safe switch mm. because running Polyrath as a lead with two shields, right? And if Polyrath can go off, right? He's going off. You know what I mean? Like completely off. Like you got, especially all depending on the on the charge moves too, right? Yeah. You have dynamic punch. You have ice punch. You have hydro pump. You have power up punch. Yeah. Like, I don't want to admit it, but my first round in Sinister Cup, mm -hmm. I got a really bad lead. I think I had a Polyrath. Oh. He wiped my entire team. Oh my god! Oh I think I started with Mawal, and I was like, I can get that play rough. I'm gonna oh take down god. that Bali rap shield. <laughs> it's okay, man. But you did decently well in that tournament, so. I did four to three. Yeah, four and three. It's, like it's, not, bad. it's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. But uh, yeah, do you understand what I'm saying though? Do you yeah. guys understand what we're saying here? I really hope you guys do. Hope you guys like this kind of strategy. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if this video helped you guys out. Because I know it helped him out, so he's definitely gonna hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to leave us a comment letting us know what you guys think of these strategies or if there's any other strategies that you guys come up can come up with. I'm gonna go in the comments and be like, this didn't help me. <laughs> Sign Dustin 46598888888. And don't forget to subscribe for more PvP and Sulfurina content. See you guys on the next one. Bye!